LR, the liberal redneck here, hoping everyone had a happy new year and coming to you with something a little different for my first video of the new year. I'm going to go out on a limb and give you my predictions on what to expect in the coming year. I'm optimistic about 2021. It would be hard pressed to be worse than 2020 and the saving grace is no more Trump. I have only one fairly complex prediction. Nothing is ever going to be the same as it was in the pre-Trump, pre-pandemic era. There are going to be many small changes and an equal number of big changes. First, the small ones. Masks are going to become a staple. Hand sanitizer is going to be everywhere and hand washing will be more prevalent than ever before. When you go into a restroom in a restaurant, the sign that says, employees, please wash your hands before going back to work is going to read, everyone wash your hands before going back in the restaurant. Gatherings that involve large crowds are going to suffer as well as public transportation. And buffets will become a thing of the past. This is going to impact vacations to Vegas where buffets are huge and cruise ships, another place where buffets are a big deal. The surge in all online ordering will continue to rise. Rich privilege and corporations or people will lose its luster. And camping out is going to have a revival. Airstream trailers are already selling at unheard of paces, and this is going to encourage more and more visits to our national parks, a very good thing. Next, the bigger changes. Online schooling will become more common than ever. It's not going away. Unfortunately, many lost businesses are never going to come back. Government spending is going to gradually begin to focus more on everyday citizens instead of the rich and corporations. Young voters will have much greater participation levels. We're already seeing that in Georgia and in other places in the recent presidential election. Women will become even more powerful in the public arena. They've tasted power and they're coming back for more. Nazis will once again be vilified and white supremacists are going to fade back into the woodwork. Unions are going to have a big increase. If I'm a union organizer, the first thing I'm doing is looking at essential workers. They were badly abused in this pandemic and they deserve to have a better voice in the way things are done in this country and they're going to get it when they get into a union. Foreign aid is going to decrease. People are sick of seeing signs that say, we give Israeli families $20,000 a year and you get six hundred. That's not going to fly. The federal minimum wage is going to increase finally. Republicans are going to lose the Senate and Mitch McConnell will no longer be the Senate Majority Leader. I don't think we have any worries about Trump coming back in 2024. His mind is fried to the degree that I'll be surprised if he's even alive in 2024. We're on the cusp of a brave new world that will deal with problems in a different way. Sometimes better, occasionally worse, but always with social and economic considerations at the forefront. It's what Democrats do. Wear your mask, wash your hands, stay home when you can, and get vaccinated. 2020 is finally over. You can reach me at the liberal redneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me and my talented colleagues for our weekly wrap up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck. Thanks for watching.